Hey guys, I'm Chef Crystal. Thanks for joining me again. This month we're going to be doing uh, homemade pretzels with pub cheese. I thought that would be kind of fun for October. Uh, we've got football going on, so this is a fun uh, game day thing to make, and you can make it with the kids. I want to say thank you to our JBSA Randolph Club members for purchasing the meal box uh, to follow along and make this with me. So we're going to get started uh, by making our dough. Now, if you purchased our meal box, uh, I have already made the dough for you. So super easy. All you have to do is pull it out of the refrigerator about an hour and a half before you'd like to uh, start making it, uh, just so that it can kind of come to room temperature and proof. So I'm also going to explain how I did this um, in case you'd like to uh, make, the, make the dough in the future. So I started off with um, lukewarm water, about a about 115 degrees um, and it's going to be a one and a half cups so put that in a bowl then you're going to add one tablespoon of sugar and one packet of active dry yeast so uh, put that all together in a, in a large bowl then you're going to let that sit for about five minutes after the five minutes you're going to add your two teaspoons of kosher salt a quarter cup of uh, salted butter that's been melted and then you're gonna go in with your four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Um, don't do all four and a half cups at once. Um, just do maybe half, uh, just to kind of stir it up a little bit, and then you can add the other half uh, after that. And there I am just combining uh, the flour with all of our wet ingredients. And then at this point you want to start kind of kneading the dough in your bowl. So do this for about five minutes. Just kind of moving it around, punching it down, just get that yeast to start working. scrape up all the dried flour around the edges of the bowl. Now at this point, if your dough seems uh, too sticky, uh, you can add just a little bit more flour. Not a lot, just a little bit, um, just to kind of dry it up just a little bit so it's more like dough. Then when you've kneaded it for five minutes, you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and just kind of rub it around uh, your dough, kind of the edges of the bowl. cover it with saran wrap and let it proof for about 50 to 60 minutes and it'll be doubled in size uh, after that point point. and here I'm just showing you after about an hour of it sitting on the counter lightly flour your surface. Just a little bit of flour, that's all you need. And then turn your dough out onto that floured surface. And so here I'm just getting a little bit of flour on the dough um, just so it's not so sticky and I'm trying to kind of shape it so that I can cut it into equal parts. 
So we're gonna take this dough ball and cut it into eight equal parts. And these make eight large pretzels. If you want, you could definitely um, do more. You could do 12, you could do 16 if you'd like smaller pretzels. Uh, this, this recipe doing the eight just makes large pretzels. So here taking half of it and then just cutting that half into four. Same with the other half, um, just kind of shape it so that you can cut it into four equal parts. Um, you definitely could weigh out each piece of this um, to make sure that they're exact, but I didn't feel like doing that. It's, you know, it's pretzels and it's okay if one of them's a little larger than the other. So, completely up to you though. So now we're gonna start shaping the pretzels. So take one little ball of dough and you're gonna roll it out to about 24 inches. Um, it doesn't have to be exact, you don't have to measure that. Um, but just, you know, just kinda eyeball it. It's about two feet, so just a nice long rope. And then you're gonna pull it up into a U shape and cross it over and then cross it over again and then just pull it down and connect to the bottom of that U. And there's your perfect pretzel shape. And then just repeat that process for all eight pretzels. going to head over to our pot of water. So this is going to be 10 cups of water in a pot and um, go ahead and add in your two-thirds of baking soda at this point before it's boiling. So right when you get the 10 cups of water into the pot, add in your two-thirds cup baking soda and then you're going to bring that to a boil. Once it's at a boil, you're going to take your raw pretzels um, and dip them into this uh, baking soda boiling water and you're gonna do that for about 30 seconds so it's not very long so you do need to time this so only 30 seconds and depending on the size of your pot you can probably do like two or three I was able to do three but most times I just did two just so I could keep an eye on it and this is what it'll look like it just gets a little bit puffy and it only needs 30 seconds and this is gonna help it uh, retain that nice brown a uh, little bit chewy outer crust that we all know from pretzels. Once the 30 seconds is up, just go ahead and get like a slotted spoon um, and pull those pretzels out and just put them on a lined baking sheet. Next we're going to move to um, a new baking sheet, clean, uh, spray it down with a non-stick cooking spray. And then you're going to transfer your pretzels that you had uh, kind of draining on that parchment paper. You're going to move them over to this baking sheet. Just make sure that you do not cook your pretzels on parchment paper because it, they, it doesn't come out right. The bottom doesn't brown like it should and it sticks to the parchment paper even if you spray it with non-stick cooking spray. So just put your pretzels straight on a greased cooking, cookie sheet. Now I'm going in with some melted butter um, and just brushing this on the top of each pretzel. You could use um, like an egg wash uh, at this point if you like, but I like the pretzels with a little bit extra butter, so that's why I use butter um, to brush. And then 
That's also going to help your salt stick to the top of your pretzels as well. And then just repeat that process with the rest of your pretzels. And then you're going to pop that right into a 450 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now we're going to get started on our pub sauce. So I like to make sure that I grate the cheese. When you buy cheese from the store that's already grated, it just doesn't melt the same. So it's nice to have a block and grate it yourself. So we're going to start with three tablespoons of butter. Get that melted in your pan. Then we're gonna whisk in our three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So here we're just making a roux. Uh, this is our thickening agent for our cheese sauce. Just uh, keep whisking that. Uh, keep an eye on it. You don't want your pan to be too hot because you don't want to burn this roux. You basically just want to kind of cook the flour taste out of it. So just for a few minutes, just constantly whisking. Then we're going to go in with our quarter cup of dark lager. I used a uh, Shiner Bach, but you can certainly use um, whichever beer you like. You're going to whisk that in and then just keep whisking. So. This sauce is pretty much, you've got one hand that's going to be, just keep stirring the whole time. And then we're just going to cook that just for a couple of minutes. Now we're going to go in with our heavy cream. This is one cup. So just slowly pouring and make sure that you're continuously whisking trying to get those lumps out. So this will be one teaspoon of Worcestershire, one teaspoon of dry mustard, then we're going to go in with half of a teaspoon of uh, granulated garlic, an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. And then just keep whisking that. is really starting to thicken up now um, once your sauce kind of gets to that boiling point it'll definitely thicken up and you'll see it do this 
So I wanted to thin it out just a little bit. So um, I come in with about a third of a cup of milk, just to thin it out a little bit. whisking while you add that extra uh, milk in there just to thin it out. Now if you like it, if you'd like it to be thick like it was, you can absolutely keep it that way. Uh, I just wanted mine, I wanted the consistency to be a little bit thinner. Because it'll thicken up uh, even more once we get our cheeses in there. off right here um, just so that I can get the cheese in there and let it melt our sauce is pretty much done we just want to get that cheese melted now so if you keep if you keep your pan on um, there's tendency to kind of burn your cheese so it's easier if you just turn it off and get your cheeses in there so that was the one cup of sharp cheddar and now I'm gonna go in with one cup of Colby back on uh, just really low so you're just trying to melt that cheese and keep whisking until it's completely melted and combined is done look at that ooey gooey goodness ready for some fabulous pretzels this cheese sauce is super easy and it's really good now we pulled our pretzels out of the oven they have this nice deep rich brown golden color uh, you can serve this with your favorite dark lager like I said we used a shiner but if you have a different beer that you that you favor you can definitely have that with your pretzels I hope you've enjoyed our video please join us next month uh, when we make some appetizers, uh, be sure to follow us on Facebook and happy cooking.